I left my multimeter in the sun and the whole screen was black and now it's going away after I took the batteries out. Weird. Let's see if it gets better. Well, it's already getting better as it cools down. And there it goes. It's gone. Let's see if it works. Alright, guys. It's kind of working now that it cooled down. Alrighty, guys. Today, we're going to be working on this four-wheeler. Dave drove it last, and we came out, and the battery was stone dead. I thought she left the key on. I charged it up. Next day, the battery's stone dead. So I took my multimeter... And I tested the battery. Well, first I unhooked the battery terminal. Left it overnight. The battery wasn't dead. So I knew it had some sort of parasitic draw. So then I came down here and unplugged the voltage regulator right here. And let it sit overnight and the battery didn't die. So I also plugged it in and touched my multimeter to these two uh prongs so right now with the voltage regular unplugged regulator rectifier 12.3 volts now watch what happens once I plug it in come down here and right here There's two plugs there. That one's plugged in. Now this one's plugged in. Come back up here to the battery. And you can see the voltage is already down to 22 or 12.26. That will continue to drop as long as the voltage regulator is plugged in. See it's down 12.25. I also started up, which I have a little hot wire. But. Now watch the voltage regulator. Oh, I gotta touch it to the battery. Terminal. So now that it's running, I'll touch the battery terminals again and the voltage goes down to 11.82 so that's how I figured out even if you rev it up a little see now it's going up a little bit now that's revving it goes right back down so it's kind of all over the place so we're gonna change the voltage regulator and see what happens so I've got a t27 star bit My impact. I'm gonna see if I can get the old one unscrewed. Cool, that one came loose. Cool. So now I just gotta unplug the two plugs. Which kind of, this one has a tab in it that you gotta pull forward. I didn't know that at first. And I actually pulled the clip off of this trying to get it unplugged. And this is hot. The voltage regulator is hot. But I think they do run a little warm. So, And then this one has a clip on this side. Alright, now it's unplugged. I got the new one off of Amazon for 16 bucks. We'll see if it rectifies the situation. Oh yeah, look at that. She's burnt right up. So that's why I'm pretty sure that's definitely the problem now and why it was hot. Just that little bit and it's really hot, I could barely touch it. Here's our new rectifier voltage regulator. I might get a scraper and clean that up. Ah. No time like the present. In she goes. Wow, you can smell that burnt plastic now. 
So if you ever have a four-wheeler that is draining the battery and not charging when you're when it's running, it's probably this. If it's not this, then it's probably your stator, which is a much bigger problem. So I'm happy that it was this voltage regulator. Just like that, we'll plug it in and we'll start it and we'll see. Now, obviously, red, black, red, black. It only goes in one way anyway, so. I always like to make sure, though. Phew, I can smell that old regulator bad now. I've never had one actually burn and melt like that. I guess there's a diode in there that goes bad. Yeah, this plug is a pain. Come on. There it go. Yeah, I think, yeah, it went. All right, let's fire her up and see if she's charging. All right, we're gonna fire her back up. Oh, wow. She started on the first try. Yeah, it even started better. All right, let's see what the voltage says. Oh, yeah. Now we're up to 13. So it's now the battery's... going up now. Oh, it's bouncing. The battery's charging it. Now it's revving up. Still holding steady. It's still going up, but... As long as that isn't over 14 or 15, you're pretty good. 15 is probably it's overcharging. But. Mission complete, and I'm pretty confident that the battery won't die overnight. And she's charging again. So, check it one more time. Yeah, we are good to go. All right, guys, I just bought this four-wheeler tires flat, so I figure it's a good time to try it. I do want to actually put slime in the four-wheeler tire. Let's see if it works. So we don't have to keep blowing this tire up every week. Yeah. So one thing, it's got a little light. That's cool. Works. One thing I could say, they could have made the cord a little longer. It will reach to the tires, but barely. So I had to move the four-wheeler over here, but let's see how it works. It also has a thing to pump up like balls and stuff, basketballs, footballs. It was on sale for 10 bucks, 9 bucks. It was 20 bucks, so I grabbed it. And also, this could be a little longer because you got to pretty much dangle it from your tire if your valve stem isn't on the bottom. Let's see. Doesn't sound very good. of every other one you've ever seen guys it locks by pulling it up and like I said you just gotta dangle it here that kind of stupid they should have made this longer and the cord longer but for nine bucks what do you expect it's going up that's what we hope for Good to have in emergencies, I guess. I put like five pounds in it. I do have some slime we're going to put in it next time because I'm sick of bumping this up once a week. The game, the gauge seems to work, seems to be accurate. What's that for? Oh, max inflation, five psi. We did it. Now we're going to take it for a ride. Thanks for watching, guys.
guys. Check out the Instagram, Upstate New Yorkers. Oh, I smell something. Like plastic. Yeah, it's that old rectifier. Well, let's give you a little tour of the property, guys. So we got three acres. This is my sister's house. That's our house. These are apple trees we planted from seeds. These two little babies. That's like a mud pit. It's all muddy. Let's go across here. Yeehaw! Yeah. This is our property line. That's our other trailer that we're going to be fixing up. That whole addition needs to be repaired. But we got three acres. And it's almost paid off. A couple sheds. camper that we want to fix up someday. We got it for free. But we got too many projects. Snowmobile needs work. All these tractors I got working, but they need work. The gray one works, though. But yeah, not bad little property. Four-wheelers running good. Thanks for watching, guys. The battery should be all charged up. God bless. Check out the Instagram.